For today's video, we're going over the ultra-rugged and waterproof lineup of radios that make up the RB48 series from Redivis, which includes an FRS radio, GMRS radio, and an LMR radio. Then we'll head up into the mountains to put these to the test to see how much of a beating they can take so you can decide if these radios are rugged enough to handle all of your outdoor adventures. So join me and let's see how these hold up. We're approaching a restricted area. Restricted area is one mile west. Now before we get into it, Rudivis sent me these radios to check out and do a video on them, but as always, all opinions are my own and they have no input into this video's content. The RB48 lineup is made of three rugged handheld radios, each built for different kinds of users, and what I like about them is that they're all simple and easy to use radios that are perfect for handing out to the people you know who aren't into radios and they can hit the ground running with these. Now the smallest one here is the RB48, which is an FRS radio. That means no license is needed to operate this radio, but being license free does mean there are some limitations. FRS radios are limited to 2 watts of power, they can't have removable antennas, and they can't make use of repeaters. So that's something you want to take into consideration with this particular model. Next up is the RB48 Plus. This radio is a GMRS radio, and while GMRS radios share frequencies with FRS radios, and you can operate them together, you do need a license for GMRS. Luckily, the license is easy to get and is just $35 for 10 years. Also, a single license can be used by everyone in your immediate family. Getting this license gives you more capability since you're able to use radios with up to 50 watts of power and use repeaters. So for the RB48 Plus we have here, this radio can transmit up to 5 watts and is repeater capable, which will drastically increase your range if there's a GMRS repeater deployed in a good location in your area. The first 22 channels are the standard GMRS channels, followed by 8 channels with the standard GMRS repeater frequency pairs. And for the most capable radio in their lineup, we have the RB48 Pro. Now this radio is a LMR radio, which stands for Land Mobile Radio. LMR radios are radios like this one I have here from Motorola, which I believe was formerly used on a military base. LMR radios are also what public safety services like police, fire stations, and ambulances use. Businesses who have gotten a licensed frequency from the FCC also use LMR radios. Now I know that probably doesn't apply to many of you out there, but since this is a UHF LMR radio with frequency range covering 400 to 470 megahertz, you can also program this to be a GMRS radio compatible with the other radios in this series. The 70 centimeter ham radio band also falls within this range, so this radio can also be programmed to use ham radio repeaters or simplex frequencies. Now in terms of build quality, all of them feel solid and durable wrapped in this thick rubberized shell that adds grip and impact protection. Each model features dual PTT buttons, including this large front PTT button designed for easy use with gloves. Now at the bottom of each radio, we can see they're labeled with an IP67 rating, which means they can handle being submerged in water one meter deep for 30 minutes. The radios have a USB-C port and 2.5 millimeter headset jack, which have these thick rubber covers to keep them protected from water and dust. So they look and feel tough and rugged, and Redivis says that they're waterproof, but let's take a hike into the mountains and find out if these really live up to those claims. So first, starting out with a number of drop tests, all of the radios took a number of tumbles down this rock into the creek below, and they all continued to work fine without any issues. Unsurprisingly, there were some minor marks to the radios, like this scratch on the front and on the power and volume knob here on the RB48 Pro. But there was no effect to the radio's performance and usability. To do further waterproof testing, they went through our usual throw them in a creek test and they all performed fine with no water ingress. Now one common question for waterproof radios is do they float? As we can see here, the Plus and Pro do not float and drop like a rock into the creek bed below. 
the RB48 FRS radio does float, as you can see here. So for those of you needing a radio that floats for kayaking, fishing, or water sports in general, the RB48 fits the bill there. As far as usage goes, the radios are all pretty similar in use and function, with the Pro having a few extra features compared to the rest of the lineup. We of course have the dual PTT buttons we covered earlier. The side has large rubberized up and down buttons to navigate the menu and change channels. Similar to many other FRS and GMRS radios, changing the channels is simple and is done by hitting the menu button to make the channel number flash and then hitting the up or down arrow buttons on the side to select the channel and then pressing the PTT button to save. Changing the subchannels is similar and is done by hitting the menu button twice to make the subchannel flash, and then use the up and down buttons to change the subchannel, followed by PTT to save. Now, the rest of the menu isn't the most intuitive due to the limitations of this basic LCD screen, so you'll likely have to refer to the manual on the rare occasion that you need to make changes to the radio settings. Now, we don't have them available yet, but we'll be making our COM info cards available for these radios as well. The radios all have similar features like NOAA weather radio reception and alerting. They also have a vibrate function that can be turned on when another user presses the call button. All of them also have a SOS feature. The RB48 has a specific SOS button that you push and hold to activate. And for the other radios, this is activated by pushing and holding the up arrow button on the side of the radio. Now these radios from Redivis don't have a GPS or anything, so unlike other GMRS and FRS radios we've covered on the channel here, like the GMRS Pro or the Motorola Talk About T800 series, pushing this won't send your location to other users and just broadcasts this annoying siren sound over the radio. If you've been a subscriber of the comms channel for a while, you may remember we tested the AI noise reduction feature on the VGC VRN7600 mobile radio, which worked really well. The new RB48 Pro also has a similar noise reduction feature, so let's go ahead and put that to the test as well. Test in a noisy environment with noise reduction turned off. Test in a noisy environment with noise reduction turned off. This is a test in a noisy environment with noise reduction turned on. Test in a noisy environment with noise reduction turned on. So as you can hear in the comparison test, it works and did a good job at removing the background noise. And that just about covers everything. So if you're the outdoor type that abuses radios or you just want a simple radio to hand out to others when needed, the RB48 lineup has something for everyone. If you'd like to pick one of these radios up, we'll have affiliate links to them in the video description below. That'll do it for this video though, and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, so you won't miss out on any of our future videos. Thank you all, and have a good one.